Well, well, well. Osama son, what's on your mind right now? Schlau. Is there anything that you want to get off your chest or vent about? On the way here, I almost hit somebody with the car because I almost missed my turn. So I'm not really fucking with Apple CarPlay right now. What car do you drive? It depends on how I'm feeling. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything else that you want to tell me before we start the well, well, well session? Flex. Flex your boot. Yeah. You flex. I can I can't do that. Nah. You got my permission, Slime. Yeah. Osama son. How did you get the name? My dad. His name is Osama. And I'm a junior. Osama son. Sorry, I'm getting a quick call really quick. I don't know what's going on. Hey. Are you calling me? Um, is it a good time to talk to you right now? I'm just I'm just kind of at work right now. I'm <laughs> kind of doing an interview, but um, I mean, since we're here, you know, I have a friend that you would love to meet. Oh, shit. Hi. Yo, let me get the computer, Sean. What's up? Hi. <clears throat> How are nice you? Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you, too. Where are you? I'm in my house right now. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you pull up? Um, because I'm working. Oh, I'm working, too. We should work together. Um, what kind of work together? Make music. You can pull it to the studio. I'll teach you how to rap. You know what? That's funny. I, you can teach me how to rap. I do not know anything. I listen to rap. You listen to me? Actually, Emwell put me on to you, so. Really? Emwell. I put you on, Violet. Wow. Shout out to Emwell. Do you like it? Honestly, it's pretty hard. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Mm -hmm. I fuck with it. You gotta tell me what's like your favorite song so I can like listen to it more. I'm gonna text it to you. Okay, sounds good. All right, for sure. I'll set up the group chat after this, but Violet, sorry, I'm gonna have to cut you off. Sorry, I'm at work right now. Please don't bother okay, me I'll again. Talk to you later. Okay, all right, bye. Sorry. Bye. Yeah. That's crazy. Sorry about cool? that. Yeah, my fault. I, I apologize. I don't usually get calls like that at work. No, you should get some more like that. Cool. That's real. Real shit. I be talking to myself a lot. What I gotta do today. What I feel like doing. How I'm feeling. What was the last conversation you had with yourself? If you could reenact it. We got that track called motherfucker. You feel me? Fuck the streets up. That's really it. I just got a track off, so I'm really from Fuck Street, so. Congrats on that. Thanks. Yeah. That was like a few months ago. Probably like seven, eight months ago. I was snapping. I've been snapping. Look at this. Caught on now. How do you feel about the journey so far? It's lit. I always knew it was going to be like this. I pictured it. It's the lifestyle I wanted, so I'm just living it. <laughs> Me and Slim, we wasn't in the club, though. This was not the club? No, nah, not at all. Where was this? This is at my bro's crib. They got like a little lounge in there. So this wasn't a club, it was just a house party? Not even a house party, just a get together. Ooh. Yeah. That's a fire fit. What inspired this outfit? I was just shopping that day. I bought everything that day. So I started with the top. And I was like, nice top. I might wear it sometime when it gets chilly outside. Then I seen the hat. I was like, nah, the hat is too crazy. Gotta throw the hat on. And then found the shoes at Nordstrom, I think. I was just browsing. 
and put it together. I was like, yo, gonna take this pic. What are your thoughts on the white women in the picture? They got that shit on too. Oh shit. Yeah. I wasn't I wasn't there to make it. I wasn't able to make it there. I was handling family business in Ohio, but that I'm pretty sure that did happen. I don't know if they gotta ship it to me or if I gotta pull up and get it myself, but I'm so you, grateful for it. You weren't there to make your speech, so what would your speech be? Shit. You know, appreciate everybody. I'm mean, gonna keep making these hits, keep getting more Grammys, and keep being slime. Mm. And suppose. There's some hard ass pictures. I keep it on there. Why did you choose these ones? Well, of course, I don't, I don't know. I just feel like they're really different. There's not too many album covers that look like that, so why not recreate some good shit? And those aren't even album covers, those are just photos from like photo shoots and magazines, so everybody has inspiration. Who are who are some other inspirations you have? Uh Duop Kane is one. You know Duop Kane, Duop Kane, Speaker Knockers. Um Keith. Those are just a few right there that I feel like don't get a lot of recognition, especially speaker knockers and doo wop, because you know they really paved a lot for everybody. <laughs> yeah, I was getting buckets. I was getting buckets. I wasn't getting buckets. You were not getting buckets? Nah, I think I was like two points that season. I was on the bench. I was just hooping for the like, the look like, I was like shit, I'm a hooper now. Spinning the ball and shit. Like, you could just tell I wasn't a hooper, like who spins the ball in their pictures. I was just trying to flex. Been flexing though. What year was that picture? Uh, I think like 2019. 2018. What grade were you in? Uh, sophomore. How long did you play basketball for? Like on a team? Yes. I think I played like three consecutive years. I wasn't like hooping though. I was really on the bench for three consecutive years, but three years. Who's your favorite basketball player? Kobe and Derrick Rose. That's crazy. I th I've, um, Do you have any words for this fan? You gotta chill, Slime. That boy, Mr. NFL himself, really kicking shit at Slime. How did Steph discover you? Shit. Um. Uh, SoundCloud. And then he just texted me. I was like, yo, let me host a song. And I was like, shit, I pay. I mean, I, I charge, you feel me? And then he was like, you need a manager? I was like, low key. And then we just locked in. What year was that? Uh, that was 2023. Gang. What's your message to Steph? I be telling him all the time, but like, I just appreciate him, you feel me? You know, we got each other far, like, and we achieved a lot of shit, bro. Watching each other grow and shit is just, 
It's crazy, bro. It's really my twin. Not even my manager, bro. It's really my, my bro, so I'm just proud of him. So for the next segment, we're gonna be doing some writing. I'm gonna need you to write down three unknown facts about yourself. Good. You're all done? Yeah. All right. Read to me what you wrote. I know how to skate. When I was uh, when I was in middle school, I was pretty decent. I still got a little bit of it in me now, though, so I know how to skate. Do you have any skating videos online? Yeah, I do. I'm not going to say the title, but it's on YouTube. The second one is I'm actually tall. So a lot of people think I'm short, like five, six, but I'm actually like six, one, six, two. So I'm a decent height. And the last one is I'm a very good driver. I'm like one of the best drivers I know. When I get into other cars and other people are driving, I can just critique them. For the next segment, we're gonna be doing more writing. I need you to write down three things you are proud of about yourself. What is the question again? What are three things you are proud of about yourself? <clears throat> Read to me what you wrote. Uh, I made myself financially stable, so I don't really got to worry about money. It's not really a problem anymore. Um, I can put my people and others in better positions now. You feel me? Because I'm in a better position. So now I can start helping everybody else around me out and put them in a better position so everybody can be in a good position. And the last one is I don't have to work a nine to five. I had like 12 jobs before I was like really. 12 jobs? Yeah. Can you list all 12? All right. Hmm. I started at Sky Zone, then Wendy's, Walmart, UPS, FedEx, uh, some random ass warehouse job. I was moving like lumber and shit, a grocery store, a hotel. I worked at another Walmart. Hmm. No, I think that's it. It's really 10 jobs. You worked 10 jobs before you became a rapper? Yeah. How well, to get some money. What was the last job you worked before being a full-time rapper? A hotel. Overnight, too. 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. So it was crucial. Were you making music at the time? Yeah. So I was, like, getting off of work at, like, 7 a.m., going home, making trillers, and then... I'd record to like 12 and then go to sleep all day and then repeat. For the next segment, you're going to write a letter to yourself, starting with Dear Osama Son. Mm -hmm. Bet. I'm done. All done? Cool. <clears throat> Read to me what you wrote. Dear Slam, keep your head up and keep going. It's only gonna get better. Love you, kid. From Lil O. For this segment, we will be drawing. Draw whatever you want. You're done. Hold it up.
Explain to me what you drew. SpongeBob. For this segment, I'm gonna read out to you some scenarios, and you're gonna tell me what you would do in this situation. Sure. You just woke up, and now you have the ability to go back in time. What's the first thing you would do? Shit. I'll call my twin and be like, yo, pull up, bro. Like, like, really? I don't know if I'd go back in time and fuck with shit, because that should be fucking up the future. It's like, but I would just call my twin. Be like, yo, pull up to your crib. Which twin? Twin. Say that a friend is having trouble getting women to like him. He says to you, Osama son, what should I do? How do I get bitches? You just gotta not worry about it. Like, just do you work on yourself and the, the bitches is gonna come to you. It's the middle of the night and God wakes you up. God says to you, Osama son, you can't make music anymore. Choose another career path. What would you do? I'd probably be like a videographer. I shoot music videos. Yeah. I'd be a good director. Who would you shoot a video for? Um, that's been. For this segment, we are going to be healing from negative words. Osama son, write down anything negative thrown at your way that people have said to you. So I wrote clone. I don't fuck with that shit. We should ban that word. Then I wrote unlistenable. A lot of people say I'm unlistenable because they can't hear what I'm saying. I think I'm pretty listenable. Beat it. Shit. Shit, the paper fell out. Ah. Oh, you should move like, like a little bit. Ah! <laughs> 